Hey, I've got another integral on the board. This one's from MIT, integration B2011. We have the integral of the square root of x over one minus x cubed dx. When I was first looking at this, I was thinking, it's kind of a problem. If we want to do any kind of u substitution, we need something outside of the square root. Um, so it might help us do some algebra before we do anything and get it into a nicer form. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna split the numerator and the denominator and we'll write this with a square root of x in the numerator. But instead of writing a square root, I'm gonna write this as x to the 1 half in the numerator. And then we'll just have square root of one minus x cubed in the denominator. And then here, this x cubed is still kind of bothering me. I can't really do, if I do a u substitution here, right? If let's say if I make one minus x cubed my u, we take the derivative, we get three x squared. That's not really great. So what I'm gonna do instead, if I just call this x to the 3 halves squared. Notice we haven't changed it, that's still x cubed. If we do our u substitution now for x 3 halves, it looks like we're setting it up for trig substitution or an easy integral. So let's see how that's gonna go if I do that for my u substitution. So I'm just gonna call u equal to x 3 halves. We'll get our derivative, so du is gonna be 3 halves x 1 half dx. And then that's actually looking really similar to what we have up here. If I just create a three halves here. I can multiply a two thirds out front so that I'm not changing it. This is just multiplying by one. Now let's see what happens when we do this substitution. So I have my two thirds out front. We're gonna have this thing is just du in the numerator. And then here we're gonna have the square root of one minus u squared. And like I said here, we could actually do a trig substitution, but this is a really common integral. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go right to the answer. This thing here is really the same thing as arc sine. Okay, so here we'll have our arc sine or inverse sine of u, and we just need to back substitute to finish this off. So for our answer, we're gonna have just two thirds inverse sine x three halves plus c. Thanks for watching, have a great day.